Today, we will introduce a liposome hand extruder provided by Genizer. It's mainly used to remove particles and sediment from the products. Reduce the particle size of liposome and emulsion to facilitate sterile filtration. It's suitable for many sample volume applications during the experimental phase, and it is hand-driven. By simply pushing the plunger of the syringe manually on both sides in turn, the sample will repeatedly pass through the polycarbonate membranes with a specific pore size by a certain external extrusion force. And finally, be extruded to a uniform size from 20 nanometers to 400 nanometers. First, let's take a look at the composition of this extruder. This is the filter chamber. All its parts are made of sanitary 316 plank length stainless steel. Screw cap. Metal body. Track etched membrane. Gas type syringe. Stabilizer block. Next, I'll show you the assembly steps. First, insert the micron pore plate into the O-ring. Place the blurred side facing outward into the recess of the filter chamber. Assemble one of the filter chambers into the metal body. And then screw the cap. Take out the other filter chamber. Use the tweezers to take a piece of track etched membrane and place it on the top of the filter chamber. The membrane should be flat with no wrinkles or bubbles and wetting the membrane can be a benefit during the placement. Assemble this filter chamber into the metal body on the other end Screw the cap and take care not to move the membrane. Tighten the screw cap by hand to avoid leakage until you feel a significant resistance. Take one milliliter sample with a syringe. And screw it to one side of the metal body. Then, screw the other one to the opposite side. Now, let's open the top cover of the stabilizer block. Place the whole assembly into the recess of the stabilizer block. Put the top cover on. and tighten the nuts on it. Now, all assembly of the hand extruder is completed. Next, we'll start the experimental preparation of the sample. Push the plunger of the syringe filled with the sample to start extrusion. The housing of the gas tight syringe is made of glass, so please take care to increase the force slowly and evenly, and keep the direction of force straight along the syringe to avoid any cracking or damage of the glass. After completing one extrusion, we can continue to extrude from the other side. If the particle size of the sample is too large to extrude, it is recommended to extrude with a membrane with large pore size before using a small one. In general, it may require more than a dozen extrusions to achieve particle size requirements. 
it is better to try several times in the early stage of the experiment to get the best results. As you can see, the sample after extrusion is more uniform and transparent.